Good evening. I would like to bite your neck. I started collecting um, most of my mafia stuff probably in 99. The infamous Superman, hey, man. <laughs> the infamous Superman outfit that I made to propose to my wife. Oh, if I only had abs like that again. I enjoy dressing up as a vampire. This is actually the warden's report on Al Capone's behavior when he was at Alcatraz. What are you so happy about? I know you're not getting paid, right? That's what it is. Okay. Danielle McJimsey and welcome to iHeart, the show that profiles those people who make culture pop, the collectors, the sellers, and the commentators. This week, it's all about the good, the bad, and the evil. L.A.'s Stephen Kirk is so crazy about Superman, he proposed to his wife dressed as the Man of Steel. I'm Stephen Kirk, and we are in my spacious two-bedroom apartment in Eagle Rock, California. And uh, currently, I am a stay-at-home dad. Uh, we have twins, Lois and Christopher, hence the Superman kind of tie in there, uh, also known as the Wonder Twins. What are you so happy about? I know you're not getting paid, right? That's what it is. Okay. It's the union regulations. She can't, uh, she can't appear on camera with and smile without getting paid. So. Right, bub? <laughs> The first superhero memories I have are probably from the original Batman TV series. Uh, so I started getting into superheroes, uh, and that's kind of when I discovered Superman. Uh, the Adventures of Superman, starring George Reeves, was in reruns at the time. And as soon as I started watching that show, I started getting into all the comics, and it just turned into all this. In um, Woolstock, Iowa, back in 1914, uh, George Reeves, who played Superman in The Adventures of Superman, was born in this small little little house. And, and actually, the house is still there, and it's in horrible disrepair. But this small town of Woolstock, Iowa, that has about 202 people, uh, is actually in the process of trying to get the house restored. And as it turns out, I've actually been offered the, uh, the position of curator for the museum. Uh, one of the things I'm working on right now is I'm actually putting together a super auction uh, that we're going to do on eBay. And anybody that has anything that they think might, that somebody might bid a dollar on on eBay, I'll take that dollar so I can get that house restored. Um, so, of course, by visiting georgereevesmemorial.com, then you can find out how to, how to participate in that. people with, with bigger collections than me, people that have got a lot more stuff, a lot more variety of things, but for me, especially if you heart something, uh, it's more than just how much stuff you can collect. It's, it's how invested you are in the character and everything that goes, goes into it. There's nothing wrong with having a role model that is as sort of straight up and, and, and square jawed and, and all American as Superman. And of course, Clark Kent, I mean, he is, he's the everyman connection. Uh, Lois, why don't you take Kent out to uh, meet everybody, huh? Just introduce him around. He's starting with the paper today. If I had to choose between what version of Superman is my favorite, whether it be uh, the various TV incarnations or the feature films or uh, comic books, I'd probably have to go with uh, with the feature films, with uh, Christopher Reeve. If I had to choose one piece of memorabilia that's probably the, the most important to me would be my, my Christopher Reeve cape. It's great to have a piece of something that was used by my favorite Superman. The Christopher Reeve cape, one recently sold, just the cape, mind you, recently sold an auction for $17,000.
I ain't got $17,000 to be thrown around at stuff like that. The way that I got my, my Christopher Reeve cape was actually the barter system. I was working at the Hollywood Wax Museum at the time where I built wax figures and costumes and props and things like that. And there's uh, a guy who has a store in West Hollywood called Baby Jane's. And he wanted a wax figure of Baby Jane to put on display in his store. And we ended up doing a little trade out where we'll make this figure for you, we'll take these costume pieces in exchange. I've got original uh, costume pieces, original props from uh, Adventures of Superman, the George Reeves series, uh, the Christopher Reeve movies uh, from Lois and Clark, every incarnation of Superman pretty much. If I were to sit down and, and count every one of them, it would probably be well over 5,000. I had a lot more stuff here before the twins came along. Um, I kind of had to pare back a little bit. First of all, let's start off with what's probably the, the oldest and rarest piece in the collection right now. An actual screen-used uniform logo from the 1957 season of The Adventures of Superman starring George Reeves. Uh, this nice, bright, shiny Daily Planet newspaper here, you probably remember that from Superman 2, when Superman gets his powers back and flies back into Metropolis. You see these blowing all over the place. This is a great Superman game that uh, came out when the Superman movie came out. And um, games like this usually cost, you know, like a thousand bucks if you can find them. I got mine for a hundred dollars off of eBay, and the only thing was I just had to go pick it up. And underneath the autograph poster from Lois and Clark, signed by Terry Hatcher and Dean Cain, is the infamous super excuse me, hmm, the infamous Superman outfit that I made to propose to my wife. Oh, if I only had abs like that again. I was working at the Hollywood Wax Museum and we were getting ready to open a museum in Branson, Missouri, uh, putting a Hollywood Wax Museum there. I had absolutely no desire to go to Branson, Missouri because I'm kind of like, what the hell am I going to do in Branson, Missouri for a month and a half? Well, I get there and I meet Vicki and we started hanging out and then I found out one of the things that, that she really liked was Lois and Clark. That was, that was her introduction to Superman. I had actually made arrangements with her folks to kind of work with me on this whole deal. They picked me up at the airport, she knew I was coming into town and um, we show up, we drive around the back of the museum, well then here I come trotting out of the museum dressed up in my, uh, my Superman outfit and uh, drop down to one knee and flip the cape back with a flourish and, and pull out this ring box that I made that actually looks like it's carved out of granite with the Superman logo and everything. And I, so I said, Lois, you want to get married? She says, yes. So, yep. And she's mine forevermore. When I proposed to Vicky, I wanted to give her a little, uh, a little keepsake. So I actually went on a rooftop in Hollywood and stood on the edge of the roof, sort of like uh, Christopher Reeve, and took a series of photos. So here's one over here. And it was, it was one of my favorite Superman moments of all time because I'm standing on this, this rooftop corner and there's a little kid down on the street, Mommy, look, it's Superman! <laughs> With my cape flapping in the breeze.